what is up YouTube welcome to another episode and uh, basically this is like my compilation of everything FIFA 13 all news and information and now there's actually um, some footage coming out from the people that went to the EA headquarters and um, just my views on everything FIFA 13 in the uh, the lead up and the run up to the new game which the demo is coming out on the 11th of September I do believe that is worldwide and I do believe that is all consoles PC PS3 and Xbox also if you have the EA season pass um, the early version comes out on the 22nd in the UK or the 21st if you're in America um, it's kind of annoying it's not the same time but hey it's only a day later which isn't too bad um, so yeah FIFA 13 is right around the corner and uh, one thing you should not do in the lead up for FIFA 13 is buy bid tokens as most people are aware, in FIFA 11, you could buy bid tokens at the end of the game, and when you go over to FIFA t uh, FIFA 12, uh, the bid tokens actually carried forward. So you could have had like 10,000 bid tokens, and that really would help you on the way to trade your way up um, from the start of FIFA 12. Issue is, there is not going to be any bid tokens for FIFA 13. Some people might be disappointed with that. Um, I've got to say, I did all my trading on the web app. The web app is miles better, in my opinion, than the console for trading. And um, it is somewhat disappointing that we're not going to be able to buy bid tokens if we run out. I mean, we get the default 25. They run out very, very quickly if you get into a bid and war on a couple of players. Um, so that is somewhat frustrating. But a positive that could come out of this um, is that if they have a default of 25, auto buyers are not going to be as effective as they were in FIFA 12. Um, if you had a, an auto buyer, you probably had like loads of bid tokens, you know, 10,000 plus. Um, so it didn't matter. You keep bidding for stuff and would keep buying plays. You could have uh, bought about 10,000 people and it didn't matter because you had the bid tokens for that. Now that's not going to be the case. You only have 25 and they replenish um, during time. So um, that's going to make them less effective and hopefully that they're not going to be as annoying as they were in FIFA 12. Um, but that's a positive coming out of a negative. Uh, I'm still not happy them taking it away, but um, there could be something good coming out of, of that move anyway. Going on to the next piece of information, this is the FIFA 13 early beta. And uh, there were some rumors yesterday on Twitter um, that EA was sending you an email uh, allowing you to participate in the beta version or a closed exclusive beta for people that were, I, I do believe, foot founders. Um, so I had a check on my Xbox account, there was nothing, and obviously I found out later it was the PS3 only. Obviously the PS3 had many, many issues compared to the Xbox, so um, if you are a PS3 um, user, uh, check your emails, and if you are definitely a foot founder for the PS3, check your emails, you might get one. It's limited closed beta and uh, yeah there's um, its restrictions as well I don't think they're allowing everyone who got the email so it's first come first serve do check your emails ASAP anyway going on to the next piece of information and this is a screenshot from FIFA 13 or my team and I've kind of uh, squared off this area which is the main part of the game uh, the single player tournament the single player seasons online season on the online tournament and that's cool. I mean, I like that there's a season mode added. That is pretty cool. And a few other things like Team of the Week challenges where you can actually maybe win players. I think is some cool additions that are going to be happening in the Ultimate Team. One negative for me though is, uh, and I've said that many times in my uh, live stream, I like playing the single player online game because there's not much at stake compared to the tournament and it, there's less sweaty players um, in that mode. Issue is they've took that out. Uh, you've got single player season which is against AI single player and single player tournament as well and then you've only got online tournament and online season. So the only way you can play people that is not for a goal is to play your friend online. Which is somewhat annoying. I like playing randoms where not much was up for stake. I mean if you played a single player match it's only that game that it counts for. If you're playing a tournament in season you're going to get up to the next uh, level or the next division and in a tournament you're aiming to win it. So you're going to do as uh, as much sweating as possible in those two game modes to win it. And that is the only annoying thing that could happen in Ultimate Team. There could be a lot more sweaty play compared to FIFA 12 which I didn't think I would say that but uh, that could be a negative thing. Uh, in the new game. 
go on to the next part and I've heard through other people that have been to EA and they've looked at the players there is less five star skillers um, they are rarer to find which as I said um, you know there's always a positive coming out of negative things this is definitely a negative thing but the positive from that is um, you know the people that buy skill teams and don't skill because they're going to be so stupidly expensive because there's less of them each five star skiller is going to be even more expensive than they were in FIFA 12 so um, there is not going to be many cheap skillers um, and this would definitely alleviate the issue of um, yeah the people that had a skill team and never skilled so you might get rid of those people the people that have the five star skill teams are people that actually go in to use them um, but I do believe five star skills or skilling is going to be less of a factor in this game than it was in FIFA 12 um, Let's go on to the next bit, which is complete dribbling. And this is basically going to take the place of skilling, I do believe. Skilling is always going to be useful, but it's complete dribbling or skill dribbling, whatever they want to call it. Um, I've seen this in action, and um, I kind of used a little bit of it um, in FIFA 12, but this is definitely the more refined version. And um, this is the way you beat people. You basically get them to come in, and you bait the player in. They gamble coming into you uh, or the AI and especially if they're doing contain or the, the secondary contain press is they're going to go and press the ball and basically you go into the complete dribbling and just move beside them and run on and I've seen it happen in many videos that have been released so far on FIFA 13. Uh, I think this is going to be a very very powerful feature for uh, FIFA 13 and something that you are going to have to learn. You're going to have to learn to stop the ball, bait them in and move along. You can't just keep running. Especially as they've said if you keep holding the trigger your player is going to be tired and your first control is going to be bad. That is going to affect you big time. So keeping the ball, keeping possession and holding things up like this and just taking players on and baiting them in um, is going to be the way forward for FIFA 13 and probably Ultimate Team as well. On to the last bit is the attacking AI and passing and uh, as many people know the attacking AI has been improved from FIFA 12. They make better and more intelligent runs than they did before and this is going to cause a lot more issues in defence. Um, this game does definitely feels um, like it's going to be a very uh, good passing and attacking or an offensive uh, kind of game. The defences are going to make a lot of issues and I, I don't see many games that are going to end nil nils. Um, I, I do believe there's going to be three scoring and high scoring affairs um, the passing is going to be very very key and that's going to be an area in ultimate team that you're going to have to have a look at um, pace is not always going to be everything it's going to be control and passing is going to be the most key thing especially for midfielders and maybe even uh, wingers as well so uh, it's definitely going to be an area that I kind of enjoy. I love my passing game. I love the one twos and moving into space. Uh, I think this game is going to be right up my alley. If the defending is good enough, uh, then uh, I'm really looking forward to FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. But do give your opinions in the comments below. And hopefully you like the change of pace of this video. I have been pretty un inactive for like a month or so. But I will get back to doing regular videos for you guys uh, when FIFA 13 hits. Also as well, I'll be streaming everything. The demo, the early version. Do check the links in the description below and as well links to facebook twitter and all that jazz and i will see you again do remember to leave a like and i will see you in the next video peace